Welcome back to Age of Empires 4, 1215, the Siege of Rochester. King John clung to the throne, but the cost would be a bloody battle against his own people. In the year prior to the defense of Dover, King John's defiance of the Magna Carta had mired England in a rebellion known as the First Barons' War. Across England, barons broke ties with the crown and seized important cities, including Rochester. With his reign under threat, John deployed his forces to retake Rochester and capture the traitors. I would say that Roch uh, that uh, John is the man single-handedly responsible from preventing England from conquering Fl France, more so than anyone else in the history of England. So why? So he's not exactly the guy you would want to fight on his behalf, really. But I guess we do because. Ultimately, he didn't maintain power. He did, I think, win the war. Honestly, I, I've read a lot of history, but you can't read everything, right? So it's like you can't read about every period. So I don't actually know how this whole thing went down. Uh, England's internal petty squabbles are largely insignificant compared to some of the other things that were happening exactly King around John's this, men arrived uh, at the outskirts of Rochester, set to retake the castle and drive out the rebel barons within. But Rochester was a formidable fortress that protected the route to London, and the rebel barons were prepared to lay down their lives to hold it. Makes sense. Okay. Before King John's men could hope to retake the castle, they would need to reinforce their position by capturing the village of Chatham. Alright, so we have crossbowmen, men at arms, and long bows. For the record, uh, killing those peasants is actually not to my benefit. Oh, come on, don't run. And guess what? I'll need the, as many peasants alive as possible. Uh, okay. Right. The king's men secured Chatham and began preparing for an arduous siege. Rochester's keep was protected by strong stone walls. The king's army would need mighty siege weapons to break through. All right, I need wood, I need uh, stone, I need pound Let's go mark it. Alright, so we're gonna get that sacred site. That sacred site is gonna generate gold for, um, for us. Alright, put them on wood. Now, here's, um, here's part of the problem of what they're doing to us. Uh, here's part of the problem with the campaign not being a useful tool as a tutorial. Now, maybe the developers feel very differently in this respect than I do, but I've played a multiplayer in the stress test, and I sincerely doubt this has changed, though. I'll, I'll check it out, see if, if it has changed or not. Uh, but, um, what do you need to know about the situation. Right, that's a lot of sheep. That's some gold. More sheep. What, what you need to know about build order. So in the campaign... Uh, that's an enormous amount of sheep. Okay, that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, good one, Mr. What the fuck? I mean... We're eating lamb for the next 20 years, boys and girls. I'm exaggerating, but still. 
Um, folk already ready. Give me three den days to a head. Three den day four. Had well the bell done. We don't three den day four. All right, so there's some treasure. Let's avoid the wolf. We don't need to deal with it. That's another relic. Boom to him. Now, given that we start with such significant forces, I'm going to assume Okay. Alright, so all these fellows, all nine of them, are gonna go on lamb. <laughs> King John's forces were struck by a raiding group of rebels sallying from the castle. Scout, he can do that. He can be found at the foe! Redende forth. I grant swap. Give them a Hester. Hester's cometh are when I. Wounded Bill is not there! Intended no tokens. If that will be done. Crossbow and Nende mean me. Crossbow and Rest of weapons. All right, that I think the list. All right, we're going to get. Uh, Infantry, archers, you name it. Beyond do. See they to work, eh? They'll build they that for they. See ya! Cross move it! Get that busy! Boom to him. So are they bad. Okay, go send that monk over there. We got two sacred sites, so that's gonna be some solid gold generation. God swinker be made. at yourself. All right, so we're gonna get the Imperial Age in this, uh... Well, one relic is going to go in the town. Actually, both of them I'm not going to keep. Um, in, in, in fact, I'm going to use both of them. Why? Well, pretty damn obvious as I see it. All right, do I have... Why, yes, I do. Okay, so I can get Berkshire. Uh, I can get... This palace. Now, this palace is very, very much worth it. Oh, it's like, oh, you can get the keep. To which my reply is, you can get the blood, bloody trebuchet for less gold than it costs to make a knight. And you don't get the cologne, you get the two other units. Well, or for the same price that costs you the knight. So yeah. I feel like, uh, as someone mentioned, like with the... Or Spirit of the Law mentioned with regards to regards the English. Which aid, which um, of these structures you choose really comes down to reading her comprehension. There's nothing to it, nothing more to it. What needeth be undone? What needeth worker? Every charge and ten dead. I think they listen. E Brooker hunting Deora. See 
Alright, so we're gonna get a knight. A ton. Of them. So this is going to produce my mighty army. These guys are going to go and get the mining camp over there. Oh shit. Damn, 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 damn. I'm not even certain. I'm not even sure if I can block it up there. Need to try to. Okay, uh, <laughs> space is something of an issue. Well, there is a separate problem. They can't actually convert. Oh, come on, Ferris. Let us forth steep a steering sewer head. Come on, the bay. Yes, sir. Not yet. Lernos. We're gonna get a bunch of upgrades over here. Yeah, and the Yeta Mihestes. 
Arcanala. Yes, there's Arcanala. Yeah, yeah. Be ready for Hesse. Incha. Arita. Ikil sue te komo. Ikil get this building. Ready to go. Be ready for the next. Ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Be ready for what needest thou of me. Building to what needest thou of me. You can feign me. Yeah, yeah. Be ready for Yeah, you ready for the next. Oh, we're right. Go ahead. You know these. Oh, now intending. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be ready for Hestis. Hestis? What is this? Be ready for Your behest shall be done. Hestis for the Shadow. This is your own Shadow. Get not defeat. Lara and Brennus, let us fall to God. Allah is at it. We stay at your own. Come on. Hestis getting on the heat. All right, so we're gonna need increases all the melee armor of cavalry. Be ready for the next worker of the roller. Get kill, get this. Yeah, yeah. What need is that one, man? In four way that piece is he built. Non rester for the shrewd, ready to go. Non rester for the shrewd. What need is thou of me? Look, he's ready to go. The four way that hit is he build it and he build it well. Okay, uh, there's not enough gold right now on the map, so. Yeah, yeah, be ready for Hestus. Hey, kill, get this build in, he build it for thee. Yeah, yeah, he kill steer enough, be Hestus. Be ready for the next worker on the roller. We're half in fourth web. They're hiding at the back. Come on, Mifreras. Let go. Oh, now I'm rest up for the shirt. Ready to go. <laughs> Put on the, on the move as ordered. Reading Hoots Wyatt. King John's men discovered that the castle was being resupplied by a stream of traders. They had the opportunity to weaken the rebellion by eliminating the castle's supplies. Alright, so we need to deal with those traders. So kill those six traders. On the move as that's an enormous amount of sheep, holy... So we don't have volley for our guys. We're gonna get crossbows. What needest thou of me? Ready to go. And then step for the shrewd. Ready to go. Harken you are. Glory, Sheriff of Odos. Search on chains up the river. I see the boat to a young man. We have an estus coming on our company. All right, we're gonna go deal with those straight. Oh, estus, yes. This on chains. Let me get a message. So this, uh, the Windguard army is 200, uh, 200, uh, gold. The trebuchet itself is 100 gold. A knight is 100 gold. And this for this is a knight and a trebuchet as well as man at arms, a spearman, a longbowman. Suffice it to say,
It's a damn good trade. I don't know why I don't have Valley. Well, anyway. That's another sacred site. King John's men came to St. Margaret's Monastery. Although the monks would not take sides, they would provide medical care for wounded soldiers. The local market was also open to trade with Chatham. Rochester's outer wall crumbled to King John's men, and they descended on the keep. Well... Her services are no longer needed. <laughs> I actually forget that the trebuchet is 600. I forgot that well, it was cheaper, but I was wrong. My guys, if I just keep them here, they will die. I can't afford to lose that many knights. Oh, 
this call. Worse, on course, he not, but be the head Each cannon for the investment. He gets to be enough. This is your shot. The shot will be a mess. I guess we won't be hit. Pressing the boost now. Now, we don't really need to go for all of that. We can just go for the side, but my course is already set, so why not? I'm just thinking that. Let's keep charging. Oh man. Move forward, boys. Rochester's inner wall finally gave way, and the keep was laid bare for the taking. Okay, my precious knights, go and charge. Keep at Rochester fell at the hands of the king's army, securing both the castle and the route to London. While the fight for England raged on, a desperate King John clung to the throne. A damnable fool. A combination longbowmen ranged in general will serve you well in the campaign if you can use them if you have good good range all right medieval paint huh? people often imagine that castle walls were just left as bare stone but in fact they weren't they were plastered painted and decorated The process of making medieval paint begins in a quarry. This is a sandstone with a really high iron content. In it, we find pockets of ochre. This is iron oxide, like rust, and the ochre is one of the main ingredients in pigment making. First, the ochre is crushed into a fine powder. The 
finer the particles in paint, the better the paint will be. Once ground up, water is added. Then the mixture is sieved. This is the exact opposite of making pasta at home. At home, when you sieve your pasta, you then keep it for your meal. Here, what's going to end up in the sieve will be discarding. What's needed are the tiny particles suspended in the water. Once it's dry, it's going to look something like this. You can see that all the water has evaporated leaving just this very fine crust, which will then be ground into the fine pigment which is used to make paint. But ochre's colour palette doesn't end there. If it's heated, something magical happens. Yellow ochre turns red. And heating it for even longer, creates a whole spectrum of colours. It's been burnt for over 72 hours at 1,000 degrees Celsius, and that gives us this incredible purple colour. To turn the pigment into paint, it's bound together with egg and tree sap. A popular motif in the Middle Ages was the use of stones and roses. That's where you paint on blocks of stone to make it look like you could afford to pay stonemasons to produce dress blocks of stone and then decorate them with five-petaled flowers. So, medieval castles were far from the gloomy places we imagine today. They were full of colour and light. Oh, that's uh, genuinely interesting. Like, I mean, I like the game, but I think that's the most interesting aspect of uh, all of it, really. The enemy is merciless and hard. More like the enemy is uh, easy or hard or dependent on the mission type you get, really. Some missions are just a complete joke. Okay, so the Siege of Rochester. Uh, the rebels finally surrendered. Uh, King John controlled the critical route to the capital. All right, so we have one more battle until the Norman campaign is finished. So stay tuned for it.